what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this is going to be my re-re-review re-re-review of buffy season one uh buffy season one is the starting point of one of the best tv series that has ever graced television it ran for seven seasons from 1997 to 2003 buffy summers this young 16 year old girl who is destined to protect the world from demons and all these un all of these evil entities that actually exist in this universe vampires demons anything under the sun uh dracula <laughs> season one is like a very solid introduction to the greatness that comes afterward because it is season one is very rough we have sarah michelle Gellar who stars in the titular role of buffy summers who is buffy the vampire slayer it takes place right after joss whedon's botched film project that had christy swanson as the lead uh Sarah Michelle Gellar is synonymous with this role now. I don't think anyone even acknowledges Chrissy Swanson, unless you're someone who's not a fan of the TV series, just the film itself. But it takes place right after that film. Buffy has moved to Sunnydale High School with her mother and her parents have gotten a divorce. And what I honestly enjoy the most about Buffy season one, even though it is very, it has its rough spots because uh, the things that come beyond season one, if you can make it through season one, you are in for a treat. In season one, we are introduced to this young 16-year-old girl who just wants to live a normal life. She just wants to be like any typical 16-year-old girl. She wants to stay up uh, late at night thinking about boys. She wants to go out with her friends. She wants to be a cheerleader. All of these things that any typical 16-year-old girl would want to do. You know, she was very popular at her old high school, but now she's in this new town and things just aren't what they used to be. And she's still running away from this destiny that she just does not want to accept fully, and that's being the Slayer. She has been chosen to protect the world from all these untold evils uh she's a part of she's the most recent to be called in a long line of women that have been called for many generations uh one girl in all the world one born with the strength and skill to hunt the vampires and stop the spread of their evil uh blah 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 as she states in the first episode when she first meets her new watcher giles uh and honestly season one going back to what i want to talk about the things that work for me with season one is how it is literally the theme that high school is hell and i think the underlying message here in this season is the balance between or learning how to balance your social life and your school life or balance your social life and your and your personal life outside of school so balancing balancing two lifestyles your social life and then your responsibilities so buffy is struggling with her parents recent divorce she isn't fitting in at her new school and she has a duty unlike anyone else that she doesn't want to accept and that's of course being the slayer uh the monster of the week format that this season does is very very you i don't want to say unique because other shows do this it's just very the way they do it and the metaphors that these monsters stand for uh the metaphors that they represent and stand for for each episode so like certain episodes like the one i robot you jane the on the dangers of online dating and just highlighting how dating in general in high school is very awkward and it can be very it can be a struggle we have one episode where buffy has this date never kill a boy on the first date and that doesn't go well we know she has a bit of a flirtation at first with this guy she met angel who's played by david boring as who ends up getting his own show later on in the in this universe and he ends up being a vampire one of the good vampires anyway uh it's just the way and the themes that these episodes deal with to portray that high school is literally hell and then on top of the fact that her town the town that she's moved to sunnydale california it's on top of what's called a hell mouth which is supposed to be a, a portal between earth and several hell dimensions it gets a little wonky in what they actually meant by that because in season seven for those of you who have seen this show you know what i'm talking about season seven i love the series finale but the season seven depiction of the hell mouth it doesn't equate to what we have been seen or what we have been told it was there are a lot of things that don't go right there but that's later on in the show season one works for a lot of reasons with that monster of the week format the messages relating to high school and how it's a struggle giving us a character that's very likable in buffy summers who's brought to life wonderfully by sarah michelle geller who is very enjoyable to watch in this role and just getting to see her and understand that maybe some people who are watching this show and watching this first season who might be in high school themselves or just got out of high school they relate to the topics that are being addressed in this season such as again online dating 
not fitting in, feeling like you might be the reason for your parents' divorce, for anyone who's gone through that, because Buffy feels like that. Uh, parental pressure, we know you have The Witch, that episode, the third season, where the high school girl, Amy, one of Willow's old friends, she has a mother who is obsessed with cheerleading, and she takes it to an ultimate level. So all of these things, parental pressure, learning to accept your responsibilities, feeling so unpopular in high school that you literally feel like you're invisible, that in this show, we have a girl who actually becomes invisible because of the mystical energy given off by this hellmouth that this town is built upon. And the season, the, the introduction season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, for all its flaws that I'm about to get into, it has so many things that make it worth the watch. If you can make it through this, because it is a bit rough at times, like I've stated, if you can make it through this and you can get into season two, season two is arguably going to be the thing that hooks you. If not this one, season two should be the thing. You just have to make it through season one. The things that are rough about season one honestly come from the fact that there are certain things that are left not resolved. So like, for instance, one episode, we have an ending where Xander, who is one of Buffy's friends, he has this relation or this attraction to this teacher who ends up being a giant praying mantis she lays eggs that's never resolved and there's other things that happen that are just never resolved and like i mentioned the description of the hell mouth and it not being what we get later on in the series so just there's certain things like that those inconsistencies it is a bit cheesy at times too uh with some of the with some of the uh monsters that it has in the first season that's just my opinion on it really it does look a bit dated too and some of the some of the yeah some of the monsters i think they still hold up in terms of the way they look but just certain things they're just they're just cheesy they just look dated and it's just not that it doesn't hold up as well as i thought it would but what makes this season still very solid is of course the acting from sarah marcel geller the development that we get for buffy summers as she learns to accept her duties and we meet her new friends uh xander and willow who are right there along with her for the ride she's unlike any other slayer in the past she has a she has a support system unlike any other and honestly that's some of the things i just want to talk about about the first season of buffy i think it's very good the whole big bad and the monster of the week thing because that's another thing that sticks around you have a big bad but you're building up to the final showdown with that big bad each season but let me know what you guys think about buffy season one down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification at numerous video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future but all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video